If you get me out, you get a show. There's so many bodies on the floor, so. Hello everybody, I'm super stoked for this video today because it is my prom hair makeup and dress video for 2016. I show you guys how to do this super pretty, very universal, neutral makeup look and updo that is great for getting your hair out of your face so you can have fun. And then also I show you guys one of the dresses that I will be wearing to one of my formal events this year. If you're new to my channel, you should definitely subscribe. The button will be down below and also right here. You should definitely just stay and watch my videos. That would mean a lot to me. And if you happen to try out this makeup look or this hair look, for prom or a formal event definitely send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram because I'd love to see them and follow you guys and like your pictures it would just mean so much to me so that's pretty much everything that I have to say so let's just go ahead and get right into the makeup look so I'm starting off by using my ultra repair lotion from first aid beauty I love this moisturizer and it's great because it preps your skin before makeup and then I'm using my smashbox photo finish primer so my skin looks flawless in pictures and it preps it for makeup. And lastly, I'm finishing off with my primer water just to kind of lock everything in and it's really ready for makeup. So I'm using my Boleto airbrush system, which I love. It gives the most flawless finish ever. I love it. So I'm using the shade Bisque. And basically I just put a few drops in the spray machine and then I spray my face in circular motions. It looks so natural yet flawless because it is just a nice airbrushed look. So I'll have it linked down below, but I love the system and I use it for all of my formal events. For brows, I'm using my Anastasia brow pencil and I basically fill in my arch with this, but I don't fill in the front of my eyebrows yet. Then I go in with the eyeshadow Naked from my Naked palette and I basically just go with short little swipes and I go into the inner part of my brows. Then I just go in and clean up with some concealer and my Beauty Blender. To prep for eyeshadow, I'm applying my Boing Concealer from Benefit to my eyelids just to kind of neutralize everything out and then I make sure to set that with translucent powder. I'm also using this cream shadow in the shade Bold Gold just to prepare for the shimmery eyeshadows and make them pop. In my Urban Decay Smoky palette, I'm taking the shade Combust and I'm applying this to my crease, just kind of making that transition shade. And then I'm going in with Whiskey and I'm applying this to the outer crease to define things a little bit more. Then I'm just wetting my brush and I'm applying the shade High to my eyelid. I really, really want this shimmery champagne shade to stick out. And so I'm really, really packing it on and making sure the brush is wet so it intensifies the color. And then I'm going in with the shade Black Market and I'm applying this to the outer corner. This really just sets the look off and I love how it looks. And then I blend it out. Then I just go over that color again with Creep from my Naked palette. Then I'm just highlighting under my brows with the shade 13, which is a really pretty cream shade. Now I'm going to bake my concealer. So I'm going in with my Instant Age Rewide Brightener and I'm applying this under my eyes and kind of a V motion to clean up the eyeshadow. I'm applying it to the tip of my nose, my forehead and my chin. And then I just blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And then I take a powder. I'm using this Botanics one from Boots and I'm basically putting a ton of that on with my wet beauty blender and I let that sit for 10 minutes to let the concealer bake. You've all probably seen this before. Then I wipe off all the excess powder and you're left with a really pretty naturally flawless look that looks great in pictures. I'm contouring with my Hoola bronzer. I really, really love this bronzer. It's my staple. And then I'm going in with this blush in Sunset Glow from Clinique and I'm applying this to my cheekbones. It gives the really, really prettiest shimmery look to your cheekbones and I love it. And then I'm just highlighting with MAC Soft and Gentle. This really picks up in pictures, so it's great for prom. Then I'm mixing Whiskey and Black Market. I'm applying this underneath my lash line. This really just kind of intensifies the look. And then I smudged some gel eyeliner on my top line and I applied some very natural fake eyelashes, which you can just use whatever you want. And then I'm applying my Rocket Mascara. I love this mascara, it's my go-to. Then I'm using the shade 14 from Rimmel and I'm applying this as a base for my lipstick. And then I'm going in with my Revlon Ultra Matte Lip Color in the shade Seduction. I'm applying that over top and you're left with the prettiest nude look. I just sprayed on some more of that primer water to give it less of a powdery look. And that's the makeup look. 
So for hair, we are doing an updo because I love updos for formal events. I'm basically just starting off by curling my hair. I like to hairspray it before so it holds in the curl. I'm using my Bombay one inch wand. I'm just running this through my hair, not really thinking too much about it, just so the updo has some texture. If you have curly hair, you can totally just skip this part. So basically I am taking the roots of my hair and I'm teasing them to give the updo some more volume. And then I'm doing a Dutch braid in the front of my hair. So I basically just go over each piece and I make sure to put them underneath if that makes sense. And then you grab a section. I'll have a more in-depth video linked down below. Then I'm just pulling apart the piece twice and then I'm securing it. And then I twist the hair from each sides of my hair and I just kind of loosen it and then I pin it back. So I twist and I loosen and then I pin until all of my hair is back in somewhat of an updo. Then I go back and I secure all of the pieces and I honestly don't think too much about it. I just do it because I really like the messy look. And then I just pin back the braid underneath and try to hide it best that I could. Hair sprayed it and that is it for the updo. It stays all night and it's super pretty and simple. So obviously everyone's taste in dresses are gonna vary, but this is one that I love. It's from the brand Tony Bowles and I'm wearing it to one of my events this year. It's so pretty and classy and I am obsessed with the mermaid style. I love the neutral white and gold colors. I just think they're so pretty and it looks great with the hair and makeup. And that's it for my prom look. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and got some inspiration for your prom or your formal event or whatever you may be going to. Prom is so much fun and I feel like having a good makeup look and a good hair look just makes the night all much more fun. So I hope you guys like this. If you want a more natural everyday look, definitely go watch my last video. It was a fresh and youthful makeup tutorial. And that's pretty much everything that I have to say. So hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys in my next video. Bye friends.